Hi, this is Jay Hart. Now, I want to do a flip through of this magazine I just got at Barnes & Noble. It's Art Quilting Studio, Spring 2022. And it was, it was about $15. Um, and let's see, yeah, March, April, May 2022. Volume 14, Issue 1. Mm-hmm. So, um, I used to do a lot of quilting until I switched over to paper crafting. I still like to go to the quilt shows. Mm, that's going to be good. Mm, I really like the background there. So, there's a lot of... Um, art quilts lately. The last quilt show that I went to, the colors were really bright and I thought kind of garish, but I like vintage. Now that is a lot of needle threading, um, or I should say uh, sewing to lay down some threads. and the browns. Those are nice combinations. See, bright colors. I, I'm just not interested. I like vintage. Creative play. Let's take a closer look. A lot of stitching. So I went to um, quite a few quilt shows last year <clears throat> and uh, already been to several this year. Beauty and Diversity with Irene Coral Look. Oh, this is gorgeous. Let's take a closer look. A lot of threads. I wonder if it's done completely on the the dark, the black background. Sometimes they will paint and then embellish with threads. Isn't that interesting? Is that the same? It might be a different one. Yeah, that's pretty. I like the colors there. Let's take a closer look at this. The reds and the greens are a pretty combination. Um, and I love that uh, chartreuse. Cactus. Force of Nature by Linda Anderson. That looks like Hawaiian flowers. Oh, Dia de los Muertos in Oaxaca. Flower sculptures. Okay, so it's dimensional. These are folded and wrapped. These almost look like flower vases instead of actual flowers. Oh, that's interesting. Um, a branch with leaves. Mm, that's a pretty picture. Let's take a closer look. Mm, it almost looks like there's a net on their, like, tool. Let's see. No, it doesn't say tool. Those are pretty pictures. Art quotes. Hmm. 
landscape pendants and let's take a closer look so it looks like this one is fabric with raw edges and just stitched I wonder if you could do that assembly line like this is part of this and uh, they they made a big strip and then cut it into the small sizes they wanted that's my my um, guess little quilts of creativity hmm a shoe as a flower pot interesting um, houses what do you do when you're feeling uninspired well, there's always dishes to wash. Improv quilting, deliberate accidents. Hmm. So this looks like an upside down house. Interesting colors on a uh, neutral background. What did Ming miss? with personality. I think we need to see this up close. Now that's an interesting uh, combination and uh, arrangement and it looks like these are um, raw edges just barely stitched down like dandelions in the grass hmm. turning paintings into quilts Uh, daffodils in a vase. Hmm. I really like the different color combinations. Like, I don't think that's uh, the print at all. I think um, somebody has uh, laid them down crisscross like they were um, um, braiding, um, like a basket weave. Oh, that is cool. Hmm. That really is amazing. It is 42 and a half by 43, fun in the snow. That's quite a big piece. Oh, no, there's some more um, fabric paintings. Oh, that is cool. Okay, now I really like this. The old uh, camera on a uh, background of uh, some blues. like a lot of stitching. Another old camera. Spools. Piecing a painting. Wow. I wonder if I could take a class and learn how to do that. I don't think I could do that without some instructions.
that looks like um, a hurricane or a tornado. My favorite fabric store is Goodwill. Yeah, I go there for um, interesting laces in uh, colors that uh, I wouldn't normally wear. Hmm. From sketch to stitch. Hmm. This is a pretty art piece. That looks like a bunch of rocks in a path or maybe a, a rock pathway. Atmospheric landscapes. What a beaut. Now that's interesting where the uh, fabrics are gathered a bit to create some texture. Twirling blues. These are details of some of the ones that we saw the bigger picture of. Okay. Summer during the pandemic. See, these are the kind of colors I saw in that quilt show. Was, uh, I just uh, didn't know what to think. Okay. 